What's up, guys? It's Brent <clears throat> again. In case you haven't seen enough of me yesterday, um, but I was asked, uh, and I've been asked, why I don't pack anymore. Um, so <clears throat> I thought I would answer it um, in a video. Uh, I don't pack for many reasons. One, I have pretty good growth. Um, uh, <laughs> so I'm just comfortable with what I have. It feels more natural. Um, I can feel what I have naturally in my pants, I guess. Um, so that just feels better. I mean, mind you, if I'm if I'm hard, uh, I can't. I'm not like you know greatly hung or whatever. Um, but I do have nice enough size where I can feel it if I'm hard. Um, and sometimes I can feel it. I don't know. I just like to. I can feel it get stuck in my shorts, and I just like to play with it because I'm gross like that. Um, but it's just comfortable to me. Um, with a lot of anxiety with packing. You know, what if it falls out? Um, I'm a boxer kind of guy. I mean, I, I wear boxer briefs I, occasionally as well. Um, but I do prefer boxers. I think they're more comfortable. Um, that's another thing. I can, can feel the air on my junk when I don't pack with the boxers, which is kind of cool. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, but I'm a boxer kind of guy. So, you know, there's a lot of anxiety with the harness. And you got to wear, like, it's a weird harness. I don't know. It's just weird. It's um, it's not natural to me at this point to pack. Um, so that's basically why I don't. Plus, no one's really looking at your crotch anyway. Um, it's easy access. That's another the reason I stopped, I can get hard, take out my dick and do whatever. Um, I I prefer for a long time since I've had um, the growth where I've been able to receive uh, hand jobs and blow jobs and intercourse <laughs> with what I have naturally. I've had no interest in using a prosthetic. Um, I haven't even used a prosthetic probably like close to two years by now. Um, so yeah. Um, easy access for that and it's just comfortable. I'd rather just take it out and do my thing. To me, it's more dysphoric to get ready to do something and I have to deal with moving a pack or, you know, or taking off my pack or whatever. Um, avoid weird situations. So again, it's just anxiety to think about, you know, like what if I lose my pack or what if, you know, I don't know. It looks weird, you know, it's too big. It, it would move around a lot. It just was not that comfortable for me. Um, I do, however, use an STP, uh, which is just a medicine spoon, which I keep in my pocket. Again, easy access. Um, this is what I have. It's a medicine spoon. Um, it was from Target. It's been pretty used a lot. Uh, and I just cut it. Um, I think this is a good length. I go to the urinal. Um, but, I mean, I'll basically show you. I, you know, I have it like this. So, I can put my hand like this. I can put my hand like this. I can kind of hold it like this. Um, people can't really see. So, um... That's why I have a cut that length. Uh, and then it is a little small, so to avoid dripping on my pants, um, I do kind of take it out more and shake it uh, thoroughly. Um, so, but it, again, it would just look like I'm shaking my junk. Um, but nobody looks, you know, no one's going to look at you at the urinal. And you know what? If someone does and they say something, then you can be like, why are you even looking at my junk in the first place? Um, so I don't think they would say anything because that would put them in an awkward situation. Uh, but yeah, that's what I do. Um, so just thought I'd let you guys know. All right, see ya.